Hey guys and ladies, in this video, what I'm going to show you is just another milestone that I hit with my RC lawnmower project. I know some of you all probably forgot all about it or you probably didn't even know I was working on that in the meantime. But anyway, just to show you some of the components that I have here. To the left here, I have this 12 volt battery. To the right of that, I just have a voltmeter. I'm just monitoring the voltage right now on my battery. Then I have this transmitter, the DX5E from Spectrum. And in between the two motors, I have a motor controller and my battery and the connections from the motors are plugged into that. And on the other side, I have connections from my receiver plugged into it, as well as a battery plugged into the receiver. Now, if you don't know what everything is here, don't worry about it. Like I said in my previous video, I will be explaining these things more in depth when I actually show you how to build the complete RC lawnmower. But right now, I just want to give you an idea of what I have here. In a way, I have two wheelchair uh, motors, as you can see. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is the milestone that I hit with controlling this whole system wirelessly. That was like the biggest issue that I had. I had to do a, a little research to find out what would be easier and affordable for me to be able to control everything wirelessly. Alright, so just a little close up here. Hopefully you can see both wheels just fine. Just monitor the rotation of each wheel as I move the stick up, down, and left and right. But just something else to point out here, I'm only using two channels. This transmitter, of course, has five channels. But if you don't even know what channels is, don't, don't even worry about that. But in a way, as you see, if I, as I move the stick forward, the wheels start to turn forward. So... We can see that the RC lawnmower will be moving forward. And I can also adjust the speed of it by how far I push the stick down. So it's really great that that motor controller allows me to have different speeds if I wish to. Now it may not seem fairly uh, fast, you may think. But for RC lawnmower, really this is a okay speed. If you've seen my other video, I was kind of going around the yard at a pretty good pace. But... Something else to point out here, these are 24 volt motors and I'm only using, using a 12 volt battery so really I'm just using half the speed that these motors are capable of but I will be adding in another battery so I can get that full range of speed. But anyway, pushing the stick backwards, of course the wheels turn backwards and something unique about it is if I push the stick to the right, as you can see this wheel here is turning backwards as that wheel to the left is turning forwards and as you can see it's kind of going to make a really sharp turn kind of what you will see tanks doing so if I push it, the stick to the left as you can see this wheel here is turning forward and that one is turning backwards but if I want to I can have it where just one wheel is turning and that wheel stays stationary so if I push this up to the corner the top left corner as you can see this wheel is turning that one is stopping and all of this I accomplished without any programming or anything. I just used this really great Sabertooth motor controller and it's doing all of this for me. You just have to hook it up the correct way, makes a, a few configuration changes to it. But yeah, after all the research, I mean, what I'm doing here is really simple. It may seem complicated if this whole remote control concept is new to you, but believe me, once I start explaining this to you uh, in my how to video, when I'm going to explain how to build the complete RC lawnmower, you'll really see how easy the easy this is and how cheaply or how much money you can actually save uh, building an RC lawnmower yourself. So next one I'm going to show you is just a sample video of my Bobot that I use the DX5E with. As you can see here, it's going to be really similar to my RC lawnmower, so I thought it would be a really great idea to try to get the system to work with the Bobot to get an idea of how it's going to function using the transmitter and just the two channels up, down, left, and right. So overall, it was a success. I was able to get it to work. It did require a little programming here since I'm not using the Sabertooth motor controller. But overall, I was really impressed. It was fairly easy to use. But uh, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and show you this little video so you can actually see that you can use this with other RC projects if you want to. Definitely subscribe because I probably will be making another website for the RC Lawnmower Project. And uh, while I'm on break, I'm trying to spend more time working on this. So definitely subscribe because I will be uh, producing more videos on other milestones that I hit. 
and also be coming out with the how-to video. So I'll see you next time, and thanks for joining.